In the New York State budget proposal for the 2024-2025 fiscal year, it comes with cuts in funding to schools just like this one all across the southern tier. The budget would take effect this April. In the governor's proposal, there are cuts that would be made to schools around New York State that includes most of the schools in our area. If the budget passes, Watkins Glen would face a 17% cut in state funding. We were anticipating some reduction going into the 25-26 school year, but not for 24-25. We were expecting to be able to operate very similarly to what we were doing uh, in 23-24. Another affected school district is Hammondsport. First priority is to make her aware and our legislators aware that this you know, $1.1 million reduction in Hammondsport's revenue would be devastating. Uh, that's over 20% of our revenue that we get on a yearly basis. No business could survive um, year to year with a 20% reduction in revenue, let alone services we provide with students. We don't have anything in our budget that doesn't benefit students. Uh, and reducing 20% of what we have just based on the governor's proposal is irresponsible. And when the state cuts school funding, it can mean cuts in school programs. Unfortunately, the worst case scenario happens when you, you can't raise revenue um, anywhere. You have to make cuts, whether that's to staff or to uh, programs, to student programs, um, and, and no, no district wants to do that. That is uh, absolutely uh, the least popular um, option, but um, that is that does happen, and, and that is a possibility with uh, some districts this year um, because of what's going on. With the proposal being made at the beginning of the year, the governor and the legislature now have until the April 1st deadline to come to a decision. In Elmira, Bruce Juno, 18 News.